Right, okay, so if you want to jog, you can jog. We're doing interval training this morning. It's Wednesday. We're going to get time right up. So you can march or jog. Now roll your shoulders. So if you just want to do this first little bit, you can do. You can do it standing with your feet and hip distance apart. Just roll your shoulders. Okay, now do your alternate arm circles. Lift and lower. So mobilize the shoulders. So just a 10 minute blast. 10 to 15 minutes. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, arms out, reach across with one arm, then the other. Rotating your spine. So you're getting the spine moving. Morning, Linda. Good, and again. So get that twist there. Okay, arms out. We're going to reach up with the right arm and over, then the left. Stretch it up. Go slower if you want to. I want to try and get you quite warm. Get those muscles more pliable. Mobilize into your joints. Okay, slow knee lift. Up. And down, slow knee, so lift it up and down. If you need to hold on to a wall while you do knee lifts, that's fine, just challenge your balance. Let's speed that up, let's go. Knee, knee. Lift your knees up in front. So try to get those hip flexors warmed up on the front of your hips. So knee lift. Okay, half jack, tap to the side. So your hips are moving out the side, abducting and adducting. Add the arms out and in. Okay. Right then, take a deep breath in up. Big stretch and out. Okay, we're gonna start 30 seconds. Let's jog, jog on the spot or march. Okay, whatever gets your heart rate up, go for it, do it. If you can't jog, you can't march, you maybe move your arms. Just maybe punch in front. If that works for you, do that. Let's boost it, boost your body. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker, it's up to you what you wanna do. You can go slower if you want. Okay, right, that's 30 seconds. We're going to go into a squat. Just a narrow squat with the feet and hip distance apart. Okay, ready? Off we go. So squat down and squeeze. Pushing your bum towards the floor. Okay, if you want to, you can get a bit lower. Keeping your chest up. That's it. I can feel the temperature rising already. So what's everyone's plans for today? All my classes? Yes. Good. <laughs> well done. Okay, we're gonna go to half jacks. So you're tapping out to the side. Low impact. You ready? Four. Three. Oh, there it goes, the beat has gone. So tapping it out. So we've got our dance class at half nine. We've got a relaxing Pilates at half ten. And then we go into kettlebells blast, which isn't so relaxing. <laughs> you want to get your arms up higher. If you can't do the legs, push your arms up in the air. Big reach up. Okay, relax there. Lunges. Stride. I'm going to stride forwards. Make it easier by striding back. So you can stride forwards. Or you could do two forwards and two backwards. Mix it up. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Good, so the front ones are a little bit harder. You've got to really power off that front leg to push you back. And when you lunge backwards, you're powering off the leg that's staying still to pull you back in. Well done. Good stuff. 
Okay, we're going to go two steps to the right. We're going to take two and back again. If you can, a shuffle, a shuffle, shuffle. If you want to, you can shuffle with a squat on the end. Shuffle, shuffle, squat. Okay, or just do this one, two steps. Some of you might still be in your pyjamas in your 90s. <laughs> you don't want to cross static. <laughs> All right, relax there, good. How is that to feel? A bit more energetic? Take it to a wide squat. Feet go wide, off we go. Do your wide squat and your plie squat. This time you've got your toes turned out, knees going out. Start to work the glute knees and your inner thighs. I always like to put my hands on the muscles that you're going to be working, just so you can see. I'm not groping myself, it's my inner thighs. <laughs> Get down lower if you can. Squeeze your butt, well done. Good stuff. Okay, so we're going to do step curl, hamstring curl, and then two knee lifts. So you go curl, curl, knee, knee, curl, curl, knee, knee. So we've done squats, we've done lunges, we've done wide ones, done some cardio. So I'm going to take it down onto the floor next, and we're going to go into some upper body. So we'll start off with some push-ups, we can do them on our knees. Okay, so let's come down onto the floor, or stand with your hands against the wall. Okay, ready? Box push-up, level one. Level two, knees further back, three-quarter. Full press ups, just make sure you're warm enough. If you want to do full ones, or you can go down in a full one, up on your knees. Down in a full one, up on your knees. That's a good one to practice learning to do full press ups. Down in a full one, up on your knees. Well done. So for your arms, we come down into a plank position. Okay, you ready? On your forearms, lift your chest, your ribs and your hips to the plank. Up on your toes if you can, knees lifted. Tuck your tailbone under, keep pushing your chest away from the floor. Look between your hands. Well done. On to the hands and knees, we're going to do superhero. So you're going to take the opposite arm and leg away from each other. Now imagine you've got a tray of drinks on your back, off you go. You don't want to spill it, exhale away, inhale in. Exhale away, inhale in. So try and balance as much as you can. It's like a quick blast of Pilates, isn't it? A very quick blast. <laughs> right, swing yourself around onto your back. And we're gonna do bridges. So bring your feet a little bit closer to your bum, hip distance apart, so when you're ready, lift your bum up and put it down. So you're working your butt. Lift up through pelvic floor muscles, so stopping yourself going to the loo. So just a quick blast. Well done. Feet together, knees together, arms out to the side. Start to roll your knees from one side to the other. A bit more spine rotation. So just working your core, so getting your obliques, QLs, 
Abdominals more, the abdominal muscles. More. <laughs> Coming on down. Okay, we'll do one last one. Think back to hip distance apart. You can do pelvic tilts, work in your abdominals. So keep your bones sternum or not the chip curl up. And just do some really small curl ups. I don't want you to go high, I just want you to feel the sternum pushing towards the pubic bone. Shortening rectus abdominis, drawing in with your deep core muscles. You can see your elbows at the corners of the eyes and you're lengthening your neck and just looking up over the top of your knees. And this is your last one. Well done. Sit yourself up. Woo. Slowly come up to standing. Okay, little step touch. Well, there you go. Let's go.